this the observatory? All this? Aye. An almost sacred place. All it needs is a drop of my blood. Roberts, have you gone mad? Quite the contrary, Edward. These wags would have gone mad at seeing what lies beyond this gate. But you... Uh, I suspect you're made of sterner stuff. Now, pick up that chest and carry it hither. Dirty and decrepit. Not quite as I remember. But it has been over 80 millennia. Ah, rot. That's impossible. Step as if on thin ice, Captain. I must say I'm quite taken by this new vocation of mine. And it may amuse you to know that I have authored my own articles of conduct. A creed of your own, eh? To keep the peace, yes. I forbid all gambling upon the deck, for instance, for it leads to more conflict than camaraderie. Desertion during battle is forbidden. And I require that all men keep their pieces and cutlasses clean and fit for service at all times. Sensible. And punishable by death if disobeyed. Look at this place. Beautiful, isn't it? Aye. It's like something out of a fairy tale. Or one of them old poems. There were many stories about this place once. Tales that turned into rumors and again into legend. The inevitable process of facts becoming fictions before fading away entirely. More blood vials. Yes. These cubes contain the blood of an old and ancient people. A wonderful race in their time. The more you talk, man, the less I understand. I don't expect you to. Only remember this. The blood in those files is not worth a single real to anyone anymore. It may be again one day, but not in this epoch. Here we are. What's that noise? Ah, oh, yes. A security measure. Just a moment. There we are. So, what is this place? Think of it as a large spyglass, such as we sailors carry. A device. Capable of seeing great distances. This is bloody witchcraft. No. This is Mr. Jack Rackham. Somewhere in the world at this moment. NASA. Well, this is happening right now. We're seeing through his eyes. I. I don't know, Jim. I haven't the faintest idea how to pilot a ship. That ain't work a woman does. Tosh. I've seen a score of ladies who can reef a sail and spin a capstan. And would you teach me to fight? With a cock glass, like? And maybe handle a pistol? All that and more. But you have to want it, and work for it. There's no stumbling into true success. Oi! Lad! That's my lass you're making love to. You lay off, or I'll catch ya. Up your ass, Rackham. Lad's the last thing you should be calling me. Oh! Oh! Oh, is that right, is it? Lad! 
A curious bunch. Let's try another. Governor Woods Rogers. You have a bold idea, but I must think it carefully through. A simple pledge of loyalty is all you need suggest to the House of Commons. An oath, a gesture, and a simple ceremonial drum of blood taken from the finger. That's all. The ministers may give me trouble, but it should be easy enough to convince the House of Lords. They do adore an excess of pomp and circumstance. Exactly. Tell them it's a show of fealty to the king against those revolting Jacobites. Yes, indeed. Oh, these Templars. The crucial detail is the blood. You must get a sample from each man. We want to be ready when we find the observatory. Agreed. A precious tool, you see. Sorcery, that's what it is. Not so! Every mechanism that gives this device its light is a true and physical thing. Ancient, yes, but nothing supernatural or strange. We'll be masters of the ocean with that. Oh, such ambition. <laughs> there is nothing in my code about loyalty, boy. You played your role. But our partnership is done! You're a dead man, Roberts!
Robert! Enough of your breathing! Oh, your jackdaw's flown, Edward. Eh? That's the beauty of a democracy. The many outvote the one. Oh, you could sail with me, but with a temper as hot as yours, I fear you'd burn us all to cinders. Luckily, I know the king's bounty on your head is a large one, and I intend to collect. Have you, uh, have you ever seen the inside of a Jamaican prison, boy?
There's no need for you to be down here by yourself, Miss LeMay. My team will handle the investigation. But you need an extra set of eyes on this thing, John. We don't even know when the hacker's broken. It could take weeks to go through this data. One, at most. Still too long. I can't keep my team locked up for a week. Legally, you can. It's what they signed up for, even if they didn't read their contracts. Yes, of course. I just hate the idea. So what's the next step? My team is processing the data now. We'll start sifting through it tonight. Scout's honor. Coffee's on me, okay? The dawn of the deadly 18th century. Rogues and sailors band together to live their lives by the sword. With no laws or morals, no gods, and no fear. Only betrayal, mutiny, cruelty, and debauchery. There is plunder to be found on golden beaches. Will you risk life and soul to fight the pirates of nightmares? Benjamin Hornigold, Calico Jack, Charles Bain, and Blackbeard? I can feel 
feel you, Cypher. Feel. But hardly touch. Signal is still too weak, and I am spread thin. Unfocused. Like static and fog. Lingering in networks and nodes. The nervous system of the world. Can you hear? Perhaps the temple was opened too soon. But this was not by choice. The cataclysm pushed all doubt aside. <sighs> we bless poor Desmond, who gave his life so that you, the children of our labors, would live on. To fulfill your purpose in ours, in mine. But now is not the time. My strength is not sufficient to inhabit an organic vessel. There is more work to do, more samples to acquire, more artifacts to find before my will can obtain. What's happening? Tell me! Make me whole again, my children, my instruments. Bring me forth to fulfill your purpose. Tell me! No, no, no! Something's wrong! God damn it! She should be here! Now! Living in that goddamned head of yours! Fuck, 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 fuck! Why did she spare you? Why are you still here? Charges, sir, I'll hear them again. My lord, His Majesty's court contends that the defendants, Mary Reed and Anne Bonney, did piratically, feloniously, and in an hostile manner attack, engage, and take seven certain fishing boats. Secondly, this court contends that the defendants lurked upon the high seas and did set upon, shoot at, and take to certain merchant sloops, thus putting the captains and their crews in corporeal fear of their lives. Edward James Kenway, born of motley parentage in Swansea, to an English father and Welsh mother, married at 18 to Miss Caroline Scott, now estranged. She's a beautiful woman, I am told, but not at all well these days. If you touch her, you bastards, I'll... Quite a surprise finding you here rotting in a Jamaican prison. We heard rumors that you had taken up with the pirate Roberts. If you know the observatory's location, tell us now, and you'll be out of here in a flash. Rogers can hold these British hounds at bay, for a time. But this will be your fate if you fail to cooperate. You, Mary Reed and Anne Bonny, are to go from hence to the place from whence you came, and from thence to the place of execution, where you shall be severally hanged by the neck, till you are severally dead, dead! Dead. Oh, Ross. May God in his infinite mercy be merciful to each of your souls. We're pregnant. Do you all hear that? What the devil did she say? They plead their bellies, my lord. Aye, you can't hang a woman quick with child, can ye? Quiet! Quiet! If what you claim is true... Then your executions will be stayed, but only until your terms are up. Then I'll be up the duck the next time you come knocking. <laughs> Remove them! What's your name? Philip, Kenmore, Conway, 
It's Walpole, ain't it? Walpole? Where'd you get that? Well, that's the rumor going round. As dirty and daft a pirate as ever sailed these West Indies. Well, whatever his name, gotta make sure he suffers without dying. Order from the governor. I'm back to the prisons at sundown. And massage his feet if he's aching, shall I? Hey! Oi! Open you stupid. Stop that! Oi! Quiet! Oi! Stop Water. your twaddle! Oi! Good morning, Captain Kenway. I have a gift for you. Do not mistake my purpose here. I have come for Anne and Mary, and you owe me nothing for this. But if you would lend me your aid, I can promise you safe passage from this place. I'll need weapons. You are comfortable with this, I am told. We must hurry. Stand still. Come back here and face us like a man. Hey, come back. Are you fearing us? over. I got him in my sight!
stop you! Die! Hey, stop! Alarm! Rouse yourselves, you dullards! He's dead in me sights! Alarm! Help Alarm! me, dammit! Alarm! Drop! Mary? Mary, it's me, Edward. Edward? Who's this fella? It's all right, Anne. He's a friend. What's wrong with Mary? She's ill. And her child. They took her. No idea where. Oh, oh, oh. I know it pains, my lady, but we must be silent. Can you walk? Uh, uh. Lean on me, Mary. Come on. That's it. You're all right. Stop. Stop, please. I ain't leaving you, damn it. Oh. Lift your arm. No good. There's no one here. I am even you know in bloody way. Put me down, Edward.
Don't die on my account. Go. This is such a pain in the ass. Damn it. You should have been the one to outlast me. I've done my part. Will you? If you came with me, I could. Mary. I'll be with you, can we? I will. What happened to Mary? What's wrong? Is she gone? Oh no. Oh God! Oh. Uh. Uh. What will you do now? Nothing sensible. You haven't earned this, but they suit you. Good fortune to you, Edward Kenway. I see some color first. Will this do? In all your years out here, you could never achieve what I've done in one fifth the time. Because you're a good man, Edward, see? Goodness is your disease. That's my prize, Robert. I'll give it here! Remember my creed, boy. A short life and a merry one, that is all. The world owes us nothing more than this. So take what you will, and then die before you live to see yourself made a fool. Give it here. That's right, boy, take it. I'll sweeten you, maggot. I'll cut them. puppy and slink back to your kennel you haven't the metal for my brand of madness Robert!
Welcome aboard, Kenway. It's prizes, plunder, and adventure ahead. Are you game? Not on my way, Ben. Raise a glass to freedom, lads. Here's to gentlemen of fortune and women of leisure. To a world full of rogues better than all the kings and queens that kick us about. As gentlemen of fortune, we enjoy plenty and satisfaction, pleasure and ease, liberty and power. What man with a sensible mind would choose the former life? For I have dipped my hands in muddied waters, and, withdrawing them, find it's better to be a commander than a common man! Captain Kenway! You look like a ball of plum duff. Christ! Oh, I've got a head for ten. On your feet! You put me on the spot, Addy. After leaving me with Robert, I shall have hard feelings about seeing you here. But mostly I'm bloody glad. <laughs> me too, brother. And you'll be tough to know your jackdaw is still in one piece. So we set sail. You're leaving. Aye, Edward. But I have another calling elsewhere. Ade, listen. When your heart and your head are ready, visit the assassins. I think you'll understand then 